Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number nine. And in this video, I thought I'd just do a quick time lapse over the rest of my design because I kind of wanted to speed this process up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're basically just using more of the same tools here. So it's uh, more of the shape tool, more of the text tool and just aligning everything exactly as I'd like it to be. So let's start off with uh, the time lapse here. And uh, as you can see, I started off by looking at the panel box teaser for UI kit. And then I jumped back over to Photoshop and started designing uh, my products. Now the reason why I was looking at that panel box or uh, panel teaser is because I thought the next best thing to show the user is a few products. So uh, that's exactly what I was setting up here is some images for some products. And yeah, all of these or these three blocks were going to become uh, product blocks. Uh, so basically I'm just creating some holiday packages to show to our client. So uh, a, a, an image of what's gonna happen in the holiday, uh, and then I thought a little heading underneath that and then a paragraph of text and a button. Now, fun fact, I am not actually a designer, so I am a, de a developer uh, by trade and that's pretty much all I've ever done. I've never really gotten into the whole design side of things, so this is just uh, a skill that I've picked up after watching other people do designs and working from other people's Photoshop designs, uh, I've been able to pick up the skill of maybe starting to design my own websites. But normally this kind of job would, uh, would be done by somebody else. I wouldn't actually be doing the design side of things. I just convert that design over to code. And so what I'm doing here was just getting all the text sizing correct. I wasn't quite sure what size I actually wanted my text. And I think something you'll notice here is uh, my headings right now are not all capitalized. And this was a designed, design decision I made later on was to go back and capitalize all of my headings. Uh, and then you'll notice the next bit of uh, text I'm placing on my screen here is all lorem ipsum or you know, just content uh, filler. And that's because whenever you uh, create a website or especially if you're a freelance uh, web designer or free, freelance web developer, you'll probably understand the struggle of having to get content or text copy from clients. It's one of the most difficult things in the world and often it can hold up your projects and if your projects get held up it also means that the money gets held up so you're not getting paid uh, so it can be quite a stressful time and then what I was doing here was just copying over all of my products so I managed to uh, copy them over uh, relatively quickly and then I just had to get the spacing set up correctly so this was just changing the size of my boxes without changing the size of the text inside of the box and I suppose it's also worth noting now that uh, I'm using a black background behind my products because I feel like a black background makes the images pop a little bit more you can see a little bit more color uh, out of the image when it's on a dark background. It's the same reason why YouTube uh, has opted for having a dark background on, on YouTube. So that option is available for you guys as well. And uh, this was kind of annoying. Basically what happened here was I forgot to put a button, <laughs> a call to action button on each one of my product uh, blocks. So I had to go back, put the button on there, get the sizing right, and then copy that button over to each one of the products as well. Uh, if I had remembered to do this at the beginning, I wouldn't have had to have come back and done this all again. What 
what I was doing here was uh, just getting my block spacing correct, so jumping back and forth between UIKit's website and my Photoshop design, just checking what the standards were for spacing. It, it didn't have to be perfect, but you know, just good enough. And then I moved on to uh, creating the next part of my site, which uh, I thought was just gonna be like a tagline. So I put in a primary background color, the blue background, and uh, just threw in like a really awesome tagline, like thousands of people use our product or thousands of people travel with us, uh, just to kind of enforce trust with uh, the viewer. And then I copied that over to my mobile design just getting the uh, spacing correct. Again, just uh, spacing everything out. I suppose some people are probably gonna be wondering why I even went through the effort to actually keep this whole time lapse into uh, my tutorial series, but I just thought that if I'm gonna show you guys how to build a website from start to finish that I don't really want to skip over some of these bits. Uh, I wanted to show uh, also how much work goes into actually uh, setting up a design and then converting that design over to code. There's a lot of time that goes into actually develop developing a website or building a website for a client. And uh, yeah, what I was doing here was just grabbing some images to use uh, for uh, testimonials or testimonies. Uh, I'm not sure which is the uh, correct word there, but uh, yeah, basically what I thought I'd do here is just add in some success stories of people who have used our products before and uh, really enjoyed them. So there's uh, Sean and Guppy's story. That's just Laura Mipsum text and uh, centering the text next to the image. Uh, and then I thought I'd do the same thing below that, add in another story, but this time uh, flip the images so that the image is on the opposite side to the text. And I thought what would be really awesome here is uh, once we've got all of this set up, I uh, will use UI Kit to animate the text. So when we start actually building this, uh, in HTML, we'll use UI kits to animate the text in from one side and the image in from the other side. And uh, yeah, I just placed my footer in on the uh, desktop size screen. So that design is done and now it was just a case of copying everything over to our mobile phone and making sure everything uh, looked good there as well. and uh, started placing my footer in on my, my mobile phone. So that was our design, uh, the final design, just going over it one last time. And then I think I scrolled one last time up again just to double check that everything was perfect. And before I end this video off, I just wanna say, if you guys like my the content I create and you like the videos that I create, you can help me make more videos by becoming a patron. So I wanna send a huge shout out to these guys who are my current patrons. And yeah, if you guys would like to uh, see more of the videos that I create, then consider becoming a patron. And uh, if you cannot help me financially, then just subscribe feel free to leave a comment, like, and share this video because all of those things are gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.